There are essentially three types of cathode ablation. Uh, they are radiofrequency, which means essentially burning or cauterizing uh, the tissue. Uh, there's cryoablation, which is freezing the tissue. And we also have the latest, uh, the latest technology available called pulse field ablation. All of these I use in my practice for different uh, indications and for different patients, and they all have their place. Uh, with radio frequency ablation, that's the type we've had for longest. In this, we apply electrical energy, essentially an electrical current, between the tip of the catheter in the heart, and that causes heating of the tissue and cauterization of the tissue. So by aiming that in just a very precise place, we're able to cause a very fine dot of um, cauterized tissue to get rid of uh, a small group of uh, abnormal heart cells. Cryoablation treatment means a freezing uh, causing the ablation. And uh, this uses a balloon that can, uh, the entire balloon freezes. So it freezes quite a wide area of tissue. And that's ideal for something called pulmonary vein isolation, which is uh, the main type of ablation we do for atrial fibrillation. It's been around around 10 or 15 years. And so we've got a lot of experience in using it and it's uh, been a very, very efficient and very, very safe uh, tool for us to perform AF ablation. Recently, pulse field ablation is a technology we've brought in, uh, into, I've brought into my practice and that's become just recently available in the, in the UK. Uh, this uses extremely high energy, very, very short electric shocks, essentially to just open up the heart cells pause. And so as the heart cell gets overstimulated by these shocks, it actually turns, it will essentially die and become a fibrous cell. That is perfect for the ablation because this only affects the heart cells itself right next to the catheter. This is looking like it's going to be a very quick, efficient, and also very safe for some, uh, for some procedures. So we're very excited about this new technology being available to, uh, to our patients. So although pulse field ablation is extremely good for uh, some types of atrial fibrillation, it's not the best tool for everyone. For example, we're still learning about its ap applicability in some sorts of arrhythmia. And so very frequently I'll do a first procedure using a pulse field ablation. And if a second procedure or there's a more complex or more precise treatment needed, then we would use radiofrequency. Uh, but in some patients, cryoablation will be the correct treatment.